A couple of Republican members of Congress from North Texas got a first-hand look at the unaccompanied minors who are being housed in Dallas right now. Our political reporter Jack Fink found out that by this very time tomorrow, the shelter will likely be at maximum capacity. The word that I heard over and over inside that the building was crisis. Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne of Irving and Congressman Van Taylor of Plano described the conditions inside the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center, which by tomorrow, they said, will have 2,300 teenage boys, mostly between 13 and 17 years old. And you have 2,300 beds in one room. And children are sleeping on cots, you know, uh, feet to toe. Van Dyne and Taylor said as of this morning, 22 of the boys here tested positive for COVID-19 and are now in quarantine. They said they didn't take photos inside at the request of Health and Human Services, which is running the operation. But they did say the convention center looks nothing like the photos released by Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas of the overcrowded and cramped federal facility housing migrant teens in Donna, Texas. It's creating a humanitarian crisis. And that's, those aren't my words. Those are the words of the people that are in the facility that are running it. This is a crisis level of care. The government estimates as many as 15,000 unaccompanied minors will illegally make their way into the U.S. by the end of the month, a record. Democrats say this has been a problem for both Republican and Democratic presidents. But that was made worse by the policies of the Trump administration that in many ways hollowed out our ability uh, to accept uh, these minors and to treat them uh, in as humane a way as possible. But Republicans say the situation was under control until President Biden made it worse. It is forceful rhetoric from the administration saying, come on over, the invitation. The idea that we're somehow going to be able to clothe, feed, give medical support, educate, give out checks to folks who are coming into our country illegally. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.